So it is a flagrant foul penalty one called on Arwin Santos. So now the beer men will be forced to sit one of their players for a couple of minutes. And looks like Danny I will get the uh, go signal to come back into this ball game. Aliado with a chance to uh, add to his already new conference high. He's actually okay until he decided that maybe I can tug on Don Aliado's neck for a bit. <laughs> Aliado, the veteran, unfazed. <laughs> D-Mag Derby, Ace Yamados have not tasted the lead since the first quarter when they led 4-3. to three. And one of the things that they're continuing to, continuing to look for is some scoring from that guard position. Guys like Canaleta, Yap, You're Roger right. Yap, You're right. still absent in this game because the big men have, have done, a, have done a, a good share or a good, a, have contributed well, especially Don Aliado. Thank you, by the way, to Haynes, the official underwear of the PBA. Wash him to Timberlake. Timberlake. Now Roger Yap steps back inside to Ravis, and Ravis denied by Jay Washington. Villanueva trying to outrun the defense here. Down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. That's a turnover. And let's see if that defensive play right there can or can can raise up the spirits of Tony Washam as right there. To, uh, Jay Washington just doing it on both sides in, yep. in today's game. You're right. Just like what he did in game one. Timberlake, short two. No. Villanueva trying to race down the court and Kabagdot wants to set this one up for the beer men. Oh, and that's going to be the last foul of Don Aliado. Talk about an early exit. And Aliado is just trying to smother Jay Washington officials. Called it a foul. Take a look. Take a look at the action on the left side of your screen. So after 15 points and two rebounds. But right there, you know, Don Aliado, a lot of energy in today's game, but using his arms not to allow Jay Washington to get from point A to point B. And if you do that, referees are going to call that foul. So Aliado, his night is done. And John Dan Salvador will be given the go signal here, so. And I believe of all the teams that BMEG misses, this, misses the service of Kirby Raimundo, it has to be against San Miguel because San Miguel has a ton of those power forwards that are athletic. And Kirby Raimundo, one of those guys that can actually match up with guys like Jay Washington, with You're the right. Danny Seagulls, with the Danny Eyes, with the, with, with the Arwin Santos. Four minutes and 31 remaining in the third. BMEG Derby Ace will try to bring the lead back down to single digits. Salvador. Yup, back to Washam. Washam inside, off the glass. That's his and watch him right there, a better move. Took that, made that move, made a quick move, and then you, in, in our vernacular, Hindi Bumale, went straight up, and there, he got the foul. If he decided to go with what he was doing the entire game, which yung buwabali sa, for sigurado, si palpal na naman yun kay Danny Ay. So another three-point play converted here by Tony Washam, and the lead is back down to eight. Kabagdot. Back pass, Il Defonso takes the jumper. The quality minutes coming from Danny I already with nine points in the game. Doesn't start the game, playing good defense on wash up and contributing on the offense. Timberlake slashes inside, wash up. Wash up with 21. Bagnot moves in. Out to a winning Villanueva for three. No. And Rivas owning the rebound. 
Washam down low, Salvador, a couple of fakes and he gets fouled. John Dan Salvador, only his ninth game of the 2010 PBA Fiesta Conference. Okay, forced into action because of the foul trouble on the part of the rest of his uh, rest of his teammates and also because of the flagrant foul and you know it's the playoff. When you when you're called, you just have to contribute. And let's take a look at this power move brought to you by Derby Ace Premium Formula. Dito ka na sa Llamado, featuring BMEG Derby Ace's very own Tony Washam. Trying to impose his will down there and John Dan Salvador contributes from the line. It's a six point ball game. Villanueva out of the double team, quickly to Joseph Yo. Yo in the land of the Giants, he loses it. But Siegel gets it back. Oh, and Siegel loses it on the other end. Now watch him. Watch him for three. Yes. Oh, no, that's a long two. Watch him had his foot on the line. But it's a four-point ball game now. So ever since Arwin Santos went to that bench, Tony Washam has really exploded. El Defonso, same spot, no. Yamados with momentum on their side. Watch them from beyond the sunset, no. But Salvador fighting for the rebound and he keeps it alive. Watch them fade away, Short. no. And it is last touch, San Miguel. And the BMAC Derby East Yamados have a fresh shot clock to work with here. Very surprising when you have this unit on the on the floor for the Yamados. And this is the unit that actually is making headway into this mm -hmm. lead because you got two guys that actually not really used in the rotation, but they're there right now talking about Timberlake and uh, Jonathan Salvador. Salvador at the low post against Arwin Santos, who just brought back in by Cochot Tanquetzet. Finger roll, no good. Santos with a rebound. And the beer men continue to play with Gabe Freeman on the bench. Almost a steal. Santos, no. Again, they get it ahead to Washam. Washam with no reinforcements. And Washam. Gets it back, still nothing. Three attempts. He gets it a fourth time. Look at Wasson. He's a one-man <laughs> army down there. He's a one-man army, but can't, he can't hit a single soldier on the other end. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, the BMAC Derby and Shabbat's squad wanted to start <laughs> celebrating a basket. The washer will just have to <laughs> smile that one off. We got a 30 second timeout brought to you by Handy Picks. <laughs> um, first thing to buy, Mobanzo all seals all. Uh, he had all the opportunities that was there, that was available. Kumbaga, si Rambo hawak na yung baril na machine gun. Tatamaan, isandaan yung inasinta. Miski isa, walang tinamaan. Tutok na lahat eh. And after, uh, and after the chaos that was that <laughs> sequence, which we'll relive now, uh, here's Tony Washam one. This is actual speed because if we went on slow mode, this would never end. <laughs> and you can, and I'm counting now. This is number four, five. So after five attempts, and on that other end, and on the other end, San Miguel Beerman did in fact manage to convert to extend the lead to six. But that that's what that that's an actual uh, four point swing, <laughs> definitely. Yamato's back on offense, down to a minute and 20 in the third. He takes the jumper. Oh boy! Got a question: How much legs he has after all the all the energy he he has expended in this quarter? Beerman, hang on to this one. And James Yap is going to be brought back in. I think, that, and I think that 
Coach Ryan feels it right there that he needs to give his big man a rest.